Hi, I'm Scott from Oxytech, uh, and this is our 56 Pops Chevy pickup. Basically, it's a 1956 Aussie delivered right-hand drive cab uh, that we've thrown on a HQ panel van chassis. The reason we've thrown it on a HQ is basically it just makes life so much easier. We've got HQ suspension, uh, four-link rear ends, nine-inch diff. Uh, we've just thrown a good old Aussie iron, uh, iron block V8 in it, thrown a 671 supercharger on top. The reason for building this truck is pretty cool. Everyone told us we couldn't do it. So we've entirely powder coated this truck front to back including patina, signage, the entire thing. We really wanted to push the boundaries on this. We wanted to show that we could promote powder coating as another option when it came to painting. So we've really gone to the effort to, to show off the, the character of this truck. In the way of engine, like we've powder coated as much of the engine as possible. So the supercharger is powder coated, the rocker covers. Uh, the only things that has paint on the car is the orange on the motor in the gearbox and also the pinstriping done by Smith's Customs. Our seat's been retrimmed by uh, Dazzit Stitched Up, who's done a killer job. Uh, nice distressed red leather to really go with the truck. It really matches in with the Wineberry. So we've actually got powder coated door cards on the inside, uh, which actually matches in with the seat really well. And then just little highlights here and there just to really promote the color. The truck rides on air ride suspension. Um, so we have an E-level kit um, put through it. Uh, massive thanks to air ride suspension. For the truck itself, we've actually gone to a big effort to make sure that it is 100% street legal. Uh, we've worked in with Troy from Fink Engineering. Uh, so we've worked really hard to make sure that uh, the E-level's in place for the airbags, that the blower's under bonnet, that it meets to all the noise restrictions, uh, to make sure everything is 100% legal. So this whole project started off because of Ryan from United Speed Shop. He's the one to blame. Basically, he came to me, he goes, look, Scotty, we've grabbed uh, this awesome 56 Chev cab. We've thrown it on a HQ chassis. We've already done the four link. It already has a nine inch in it. It's a project ready to go. Then after a few runs, next thing you know, we're building a truck. So the truck stayed up at Ryan's. Uh, we were then a matter of sourcing panels and, and finding a tub and you know, front end and, and all of that to start throwing it together. Luckily, I had the old um, five litre sitting at home, so we're able to grab that and throw it in. I can't thank Ryan enough for the amount of work that he's put into this truck, the, the amount of fabrication. And I mean, as, as you know, with old trucks, as soon as you start cutting away bits of rust, you find more rust to then find more rust. So it was definitely a, a massive job by the end of it. So you'll probably notice by this time of the video that I'm looking a lot older, a lot grayer because uh, it has been something that we've has taken a long time to get to this point but we've actually got it to the point where this truck just drives 100 percent um it's just a dream to take on trips it's just you know it's like driving a lounge chair you just jump in click it in to drive and just scoot so many people to thank for this build um, but yeah, it is just a, a rolling business card for, for everyone involved and, and yeah, it's been a, a great tribute for, for Oxytech as well.